everyone I'm back for another video so this one's gonna be a little bit different uh, mostly cuz I found something just like really weird so I was in a pet store the other day and I came across <laughs> this beardy food um, and it looks like cat food um, so I went ahead and picked it up because I was just I was just really curious. I don't think Winslow would eat this just because he likes fresh stuff. He likes, you know, fresh vegetables, fresh crickets, fresh worms. He's not really into the processed or prepackaged stuff, which is fine. That's just how he is. So this stuff is called Nature Zone Bites for Bearded Dragons. And so I started doing my research on it, and it is an interesting product, to say the least. Not sponsored, although, honestly, after some of the stuff I found, I don't think they'll want to sponsor me. We're gonna dive deep into Nature's Own Bites for Bearded Dragons. I did research some of the reviews, I researched some of the ingredients and stuff like that. So it is gonna be a little bit different, and then we are gonna have a taste test afterward, but it's gonna be... A little bit interesting. Let's go down this weird cat food, beardy food rabbit hole together. So my first step in researching this was I really wanted to research some of the ingredients um, that kind of make the, up this product. So the first ingredient is water, which isn't, you know, surprising or anything like that because it does have a very moist consistency. It is sucrose. That's the second ingredient, which sucrose is um, what they make table sugar out of. Um, it's naturally produced in plants, but um, people do use it to make kind of just common table sugar, which is a little weird in my bearded dragon food. The next ingredient is carrageenan? 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 Um, which is a food thickener that's made from red kelp. I don't think it has any real nutritional value. I'm not like a, not a veterinarian, not a doctor, not a nutritionist, just a girl with Google. Fourth ingredient is soy protein isolate. Um, so while browsing the health blogs, I found out that soy is actually a very kind of controversial food right now. People um, kind of talk about the benefits, claiming that you know, this process kind of helps prevent cancer, and then there are other, you know, people who say that the process of creating it strips the soy of any nutritional value it has. So it kind of almost works as a filler if you kind of fall into that camp. Either way, the thing about soy that kind of worries me about giving it to my bearded dragon is that it has a lot of estrogen. You know, he already has man boobs, he doesn't need more man boobs, you know? Let's see, whey protein. I've seen that in like workout stuff. Like you can buy like whole things of whey protein. And then the next thing is whole egg powder. So whole egg powder, it's a good source of um, protein and a good source of calcium, but doesn't really have any other vitamins. Um, and beardies do need a lot of vitamin D and D3 just to kind of help absorb a lot of the calcium so that they can get nice bones. Huh, Winslow? Nice bones. Another ingredient that they have in there is dicalcium phosphate. Um, now this one I really took, like, I really researched. You have to have a good balance of calcium and phosphorus so that the bones can really um, grow correctly. And that does help bone growth in people. Um, however, I do always kind of worry about having too much phosphorus and kind of tipping that balance and stuff like that because you can buy um, like calcium supplements and vitamin supplements um, specifically for bearded dragons that have no phosphorus um, you know if you do want a little bit of phosphorus again I'm not a vet you can buy it with it as well dextrose um, so that's made from corn and dextrose is actually what they make corn syrup out of so that's kind of all the ingredients now I do see other ingredients kind of way at the bottom, like vitamin A supplement, vitamin D3 supplement, vitamin E supplement, um, so there's not too much 
of that in there, I think. Just judging from the label. Folic acid. What is... What do beauties take folic acid? Isn't that what pregnant women take? I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Nor do I claim to be. So, I did look up a lot of reviews on this product. Um, it almost seems like the majority of the reviews that give this product a 5 out of 5 stars or something like that is mostly just because um, they're in this situation where you know their beard is really picky and they finally found something that the beard would eat readily. Which is important, I remember I struggled with that for a little while and still kind of struggle with right now just because you know one day he doesn't want to eat his greens and then the next day he'll eat fine. All bearded dragons are different. But I did kind of come across something a little troubling when I was reading those. And basically one of the things was that you really have to pay attention to the expiration dates on these. I read on an Amazon review that apparently the expiration date was, was scratched out on an Amazon order and because it was so expired and wasn't properly refrigerated. Um, the bearded dragon actually wound up dying because it was too expired and I've read some people that they get bad batches where it smells like vinegar. The one I picked up has a little 520 on the back of it. So I'm not going to be feeding this to myself just because I do worry about it being too expired for him to eat and be able to digest properly. That just means that I'll be eating it. So say prayer to RuPaul but I won't die later. I probably wouldn't recommend this to anybody um, unless you, unless you're a vet really <laughs> and you know what's healthy for them and stuff like that. Don't know if I'd really trust this product, but I'm gonna try it. That sounds appetizing. I would not advise anybody to do this by the way. No, this is at your own risk. All right. Oh my god, this smell. You know, someone said that they smelt vinegar, but I smell like, like plastic. You know, like remember like those little bouncy balls you used to get in like the coin machine? It smells almost identical to that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna test how good it tastes. Definitely not gonna give this to Winslow because it smells horrible. To the views. Ugh. It tastes like plastic too. Actually just a food thickener so I would not recommend this product to anybody doesn't have any greens doesn't have any vegetables doesn't have any fruit they kind of fools you with locust bean gum if you don't know what that is um, I thought that was made out of actual locusts which you know bearded dragons can't eat but no it's it's just a food thickener so wouldn't recommend this for you wouldn't recommend this for your bearded dragon probably just gonna throw this away so that's gonna be it for today's video Look at that consistency. Ugh. Ugh. I still taste the plastic too. Like and subscribe to see my other terrible life decisions. So, I'll see you next week. Bye.